this isn't going to be my usual style of video. This is an engineering hobby I started a few years back and I've kind of left on the back burner. Well, I sort of finished it. Anyway, I'm going to resurrect it and uh, talk about it a little bit. This is a Chaos Pad KP2. It's an audio effects processing unit. DJs tend to use these things to alter the sounds when they're mixing their tracks. But um, another famous person that uses this is a guitarist by the name of Matt Bellamy. He's the lead guitarist and lead singer of Muse. And he has these on his guitar. Essentially, this is a touchpad that does the same as this touchpad. But obviously, when you're on stage, you can control this one and you can't control this one. So, um, I was a big fan of Muse when I was younger, and I tried to copy what he had on his guitar. I programmed the Nintendo DS touchscreen via an Arduino microprocessor to send a digital signal known as MIDI to the audio processing unit. Um, if you notice here, if you actually know anything about the Chaos Pad KP2, there should be tons of lights flashing underneath this screen reason they aren't is because I cannibalized this a few years back trying to do this exact mod in a slightly simpler way which is literally ripping out the screen here and just placing it here and attaching a very long cable. Anyway, I since uh, found a much better solution to the problem. Uh, so to give you a quick demonstration, uh, most of the effects on this actually need an audio input. I haven't got that at the moment, but what I can do is I can show you essentially what it does by itself. It's a drum one. There's the whole function, just keeps the cycling. And not follow me. Anyway, you get the idea. So this does exactly what that screen does. With a few extra things. So first thing you notice is a massive uh, RGB LED underneath the screen. This is a Blinkamp Smart LED. Uh, it's got a lot of preset programs, but um, I call them via uh, my Arduino, and also I've made it touch sensitive, so essentially, depending on where your finger is, the color changes. This is the hold button. That's exactly the same as this hold button, and they shouldn't interfere with each other. Yeah, good. Uh, this is just to change the actual uh, color pattern so this will cycle a few different colors in different orders so another one I think this is the candle light effect it's just lots of reds and yellows and I think this is my favorite no it's not this one I'll get to it I don't know exactly how many presets, this is my favorite, I don't know exactly how many presets the Blinkham Smart LED has with it, but it has a fair few, I think it's like 12 or 13. I like this lightning effect. Um, the Arduino is good because it actually has a memory storage bank, so it means if I unplug it and plug it back in, it should remember the actual light preset that I set for it, which it does. And corrects itself with the mode selection. So, a few more functions I've added were, say if you press these two buttons at the same time, blinks three times, the screen goes off, unless you touch it, then it goes off again. Uh, you can change that simply by doing this, going back to the presets. There's a button on this encoder, and this actually changes the mode of the type of audio processing unit you're using. There's a Chaos Pad KP3, the newer model of this one, and I have coded it for the Chaos Pad KP3, so just press it once, that'll change it to the KP3 code. Uh, it's got 120 something presets, so if you notice it'll go to 99, stick at zero for a bit, because it's obviously sending a signal it's not recognizing, and it's going back. I've never tested it on the KP3, because I've never owned one. But um, in theory, according to the manuals and user guides, uh, the MIDI code for the KP3, it should work. I've also done it for one more, Digitech Whammy pedal. So this should only go up to about 36 presets. How many is it? 34. And then it starts at 17, which is exactly how it should be. And 
all uh, that affects the digit stack whammy is the actual x coordinate. I believe it's the x coordinate. Yeah, it is. So as you're moving it up and down, it will do the same effect as the digit stack whammy. Pressing it one more time, sets it back to the KP2. Should be able to go to the. What I'll actually do is I will plug a song in and just show you that it does work when it's being input audio. For the sake of copyright strikes, um, I'll play one of my videos. So my cover is C60 Treasures. Should be starting soon and I'll just control it from here. If I go to the delay settings. get the idea of what this thing does. So uh, the actual point of this video is I, I made this whole enclosed kit and I was planning maybe possibly one day on selling it on and seeing if people were interested but I never really got around to it. I, I did this well first year of university I've now finished a master's degree and I never really did much else with it so I've decided to give it open source to the public. Underneath this video should be a link uh, to the Arduino forum with uh, a post that has my whole code written for it. There are probably a few functions I might have missed that are added into the code. Essentially, I'm giving this out there for people who want to have this kind of touchscreen and have enough technical skill to maybe cut up a guitar and put the touchscreen in, but haven't got enough technical skill to write the code. And even for the people who do, you can just, it will save you time and you can modify the code and improve it throughout the time. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I hope it was useful to anyone who wants to do a similar style project. Uh, oh, one final thing, uh, the smart LED, it's actually quite expensive and there are easier ways. For example, I'm actually working on a lamp at the moment that just takes normal LEDs and you can just influence its color. This looks like a Frankenstein machine at the moment, and you can preset it to change all these nice colors. So uh, there's big scope for improvement on this whole project. All right, that's enough of that. It's going to change color. Yeah, there we go. Anyway. Right, well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it.